This is a video showing how to use a pure ground test meter and why you want to use a pure ground test meter to test your pure ground ground cord. The pure ground ground cord is a great advancement for folks who don't feel good grounding through a standard ground cord. Often they're told they're having a grounding detox, but that is untrue. What they're feeling when they ground and feel worse is actually the sensation of an AC current running through their body. So you can feel sweating, heart palpitations, headache, uh, tingling, pain, lots of different um, effects that people who don't completely understand grounding attribute to a grounding detox and they hope that over time you become acclimated to it and stop sensing your symptoms. As a physician, I do not recommend that because those symptoms are from the AC current reaching your grounding tool. What you can do instead is use a special ground cord that has a filter right here that stops an AC current from going up the line. Sometimes this is referred to as dirty electricity. This stops it, and not only does it stop it, but this white coating is actually shielding material that will shield this cord to keep it filtered and pure all the way up to where you clip it to your grounding tool. When you're using a grounding test meter to test if you're grounded, it's really just a continuity tester. It's trying to determine if you are grounded directly to the earth. Now, most standard continuity testers send an impulse up the cord to you and then test if you're grounded and making a connection with the earth. Obviously that's gonna be a problem because this pure ground cord is so good at stopping a current that it won't let even a small impulse from a, a test meter go up the line, which is awesome because that's how you know that you're not being exposed to AC current running through your body. You are only just being grounded with the beautiful healing DC natural energy of the earth, but not the man-made electrical AC current, which is unhealthy for our human tissues. If you're using a standard continuity tester uh, distributed by other companies and it shows that you're grounded, it gives you a green light that you're grounded, that is proving to you that you have a current, an AC current that can reach your body. So I actually don't like that. Whenever I hear someone say that they are testing something and the standard test meter shows that they're grounded, to me that's proof that an, that an electrical current can go up your ground cord to you. So we don't want that. We actually want that to show that you are not grounded. We don't want a current reaching you. We just wanna test it the other way to make sure you are continuously connected to the earth, but without that damaging man-made current reaching you. And that's what this test meter does. This test meter starts with you and then sends an impulse down the cord and out and make sure that you're touching the ground that way. So it's also a continuity tester. It's just making the test the opposite direction because we intentionally want to block man-made AC currents from running up to our ground tool. Okay, so it's really simple to use. When you get your continuity tester, your pure ground test meter, you're just gonna plug in the green grounding cord and you're gonna plug this into a grounded outlet. These just don't connect to anything. They just go into the plastic just to hold the plug in place. The only thing that's alive is this ground uh, pin right here to ground the test meter. You'll also want to insert your battery in the back of your ground test meter. I already have a battery inserted and I'm going to go plug this into a grounded outlet and show you exactly how to use this test meter. Okay, so now I have set up my organic Earth Touch mini grounding pad. I love this little guy. He can travel with me. You can He's as small as a little handkerchief. You could literally roll him up and put him in your pocket so that you always can ground on the go. And why I have these made is because I was sick of grounding tools actually harming our earth. Most grounding tools on the market are made out of vinyl, which they call leatherette, or synthetic uh, polyester in sheets, and non-biodegradable toxic materials that are toxic to our body and toxic to the earth. And to me, that does not make intuitive sense if we're reaching to the earth for our health and healing, then we also want to sustain the earth's health and healing because it goes hand in hand. We don't need a grounding product to sit in a landfill for 500 years after we've stopped using it, right? So we want biodegradable, non-toxic, eco-friendly, and ethically crafted grounding tools. And I have a ton of those on my website, but for today's demonstration, I'm showing you the organic Earth Touch Mini. So I've connected my pure ground cord to it and it's now very powerfully grounded to the earth. What I'm gonna show you is how to make sure that it's grounded to the earth and not only that it's grounded, but that I'm actually grounded when I touch it by using this ground test meter. All you do is push the button. I've put a piece of tape over this speaker because I know in previous videos where I've shown you how to use this, this is very loud. And if you're wearing earbuds watching this video, you'll be very glad that I put a piece of tape over that. So if you get this test meter and you wanna dull this tone down, you can put one or even several layers of tape right here over the speaker hole. 
This is measuring resistance. If I'm not connected to the earth, then I have high resistance. This light, light lighting up means I am not grounded. And I shouldn't be grounded right now because I'm standing here in shoes and I'm not touching this or any other grounded surface. So let's double check. It should say I'm not grounded. It does. Now when I touch this grounded surface, grounded through my pure ground cord, it should say, okay, you are grounded and I'm going to show it to you. So when I put my hand down, it should switch to a green light that showing that I'm grounded. Not grounded, grounded to the earth. There is direct continuity between me, my body, the grounding tool, the ground cord and the earth outside. I'm not grounded, I'm grounded not grounded, grounded. So it's really as easy as that. The other thing I really love about this ground test meter is that you can use this even outside. I have a lot of other videos on my YouTube channel if you wanna take a look and watch me plug this directly into the earth, right into the ground, right into the grass, right into the dirt. So then it's grounded through the earth itself instead of an outlet. And then you can go around doing the same thing, pushing this button and touching the brick patio, touching your sidewalk, touching the rock, decorative rock on your front porch, touching um, the plants that you garden with, touching your flowers, going inside, touching a pipe. Do you wanna know if your pipe is grounded, if your faucets are grounded, um, if your basement is grounded, if your garage is grounded, if your driveway is grounded. You can tell just by plugging this into the earth outside, doing the same thing, putting your hand on whatever surface you're testing and pushing this button. And you can do the same thing inside by simply plugging this into a grounded outlet. It's grounded that way, and then it can still make the same continuous loop through your grounding tool to the earth outside and confirm to you that you are indeed grounded. So enjoy using your pure ground test meter and let me know if you have any questions.